We have a very interesting expression here to prove. I am Mr. Rish. Thank you for joining me. The expression we have is this. 1 plus cosine x plus i sine x divided by 1 plus cosine x minus i sine x is equal to what you see on the other side. Cosine x plus i sine x. For the purposes of this video, understand wherever you have x, you could have easily put a theta. x and theta are interchangeable. I'm just using x. Also understand that this will require us to bring in the Euler's identity, e to the i x or theta, it doesn't matter what you use, either one is fine, is always equal to cosine x plus i sine x. But then you also need to understand and see this, e to the minus i x, e to the exponent minus i x will be equal to, when you expand it out using the Euler's identity, is cosine minus x plus i sine minus x. Because cosine is an even function, sine is an odd function, the end result of this is going to be cosine x minus i sine x. Keep all of this in mind. These two particular expansions, keep them in mind. That equal to that and this equaling to this. It's going to come here in this proof. Given what I have shown you, understand what you see right here. And in the numerator expression you have that, in the denominator expression you have this. You can rewrite your numerator as 1 plus e exponent i x because it is equal to that. The denominator can be 1 plus e to the minus i x because it is equal to that. I've shown you both. Get rid of this negative exponent using laws of exponents. 1 plus e exponent i x divided by 1 plus 1 over e i x. It's the reciprocal. Look right here in the denominator. You have a over 1 into a common denominator. 1 plus e exponent i x divided by e to the i x plus 1 or e to the i x. I've done the common denominator algebra. I'm going to flip everything over here. I have 1 plus e to the i x already in the numerator. This is going to multiply with it. e exponent i x divided by this expression will stay in the denominator e to the i x plus 1. These cancel out. All you end up with is e to the exponent i x. If you expand this by means of the Euler's identity, you have exactly that. And our proof, or you can say the verification procedure comes to an end. This entire expression here that you see is indeed equal to that because it was also equal to e to the exponent i x. And that's it. Have a good day. Bye.